This video is brought to you by ProBoxingSupplies.com where you can get 25% off now and PowerPerformanceProducts.com where you can get $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. So right now I went to the middle of nowhere in my last fight uh, like in the Amazon forest, very deep in Brazil, uh, North Brazil and uh, you know that was a good life experience and uh, I tell you right now I enjoy more today because of, of that you know. I enjoy it this time, but I don't want to go back there. You know, I want to stay in the UFC. You're like a rock star when you're here, and you have to enjoy it, and you have to appreciate that. When they had to let you go, did they say to you, hey, man, we like you, go out and get some wins, and, and we're going to get you back here? Is it a situation like that? But you know what? I was uh, I was still part of the UFC as, yeah. a, as a French commentator. You know, I'm the official French voice of the UFC, so I was staying in contact with them. But you know what? Before them, my friend, they're my boss. So they're a business to run. And you know what? I, I lost fight. I lost three in a row. And you know, that, that was my fault. They just told me to get back on a winning streak and finish guys. And that's what I did. When you've been here, you've had losing streaks. Then you've had winning streaks and then losing streaks. Yeah. How motivated does that make you to, to obviously to get a win Saturday and then put something together again to kind of maybe get back to that position you were in just only three and a half years ago Yeah. you are fighting for a title? Yeah, you know what? I'm 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 back not for uh, one fight. You know, I'm back because I, I want to make another run at title. I've been there before, and I was I was doing maybe half of training what I'm doing now. You know, like I said, I'm I'm doing right now what I should do maybe two or four years ago. I feel very good, and uh, you know what? It's, it's uh, I have my hands full. You know, Kongni is no joke, but I'm feel very very confident. I did my homework and the training. I'm ready to go. Now you started your UFC career when you actually came in short notice to fight Tito Ortiz. Now you're coming in short notice against Kung Lee. Do you, do you feel that you rise to the occasion when you have to come in, you know, when, when, without a full, a full camp? Uh, I feel good. You know, like, uh, you know, I, f I fought March 31st in Brazil. I took four or five days off. I get back in the gym right away. I knew it that if I would come back in the UFC, we'll probably end up this kind of situation, late call and uh, replacement uh, injury or something like that. I was I was ready to fight when they called me four weeks ago. So I had four weeks to adjust my game plan, just adjust uh, the style uh, of Kong Lee, and uh, that was just a bonus. Now, now the, you know, the fact that, that you are coming in on short notice, you are fighting Kung Lee. Um, but was, was there any time with, during that time outside of the UFC where you're like, I don't know if I'm going to get back, or were you always, this is like, I'm going to get back in the UFC. This is my one goal. You know, in my head, I was I was still a UFC fighter, even if I I wasn't fighting in a in a big show. You know, I, a lot of people ask me to go to the you know other organization. Why you don't go to other organization like pretty big organization, but. You know, in my in my head, my heart, I was still in the UFC uh, as a fighter. I was I was still working for the company. You know, I'm I'm good relationship with them. That wasn't you know that wasn't like uh, you know they they fire me because they didn't like me or something like that. They fire me because they have business to run and I lost two fights in a row. That's it. That's all. You know, I knew that they like my style. They like me as a person. But you know what? I had to prove it that uh, you know I had still my my place here in the UFC. And that's what I did for my last four fights. Your striking obviously is on a high level and you've been on record saying that you feel like you can strike with anybody in the world. So what is your confidence level going against another striker like Kong here? It's it's a lot different uh, because Kong Lee is not uh, very orthodox. You know, he's very he's doing some tricky uh, thing with his legs, you know, spinning back kicks, spinning back fists. And uh, you know, if I gave him space and gave him time to set up all this thing, I'm gonna be in trouble, you know. I train very hard to be in really, really good shape because I want to push the pace right away. And if I have to do it for three rounds, for 15 minutes, I'll do it. Uh, that's that's the key of this fight. You know, I didn't hide my game plan at all. I want him to let him know that I'm gonna be in his face, and you know, and I'm gonna be there. I'm, go I'm going there to fight. I'm not going there to do a, st a strategic fight. I'm going there to fight and knock him out. That's it. Yeah, I mean, the pressure obviously has to be something that you're looking to do is keep the pressure on, no space, like you said. Yeah, because you, you know what, uh, like I said, if, if you give him space, if you give him time, you saw what he's able to do with, uh, uh, when he fought uh, Vander Silva. Uh, in, in the first round, Vander Silva was very tentative, he didn't put a lot of pressure. And uh, Kang Lee looked really good until Silva decided decide finally to put pressure and now he had success. So you know what, it, that's the key, because I get the guys like that. If you're close, you close at this thing, you put pressure, he can't really kick you, he can't, he can't have power in his kicks, and that's, that's the key. You think if you hurt him, he'll go for a shot? You, you know, you expect any wrestling in this fight? 
maybe I don't know. Like, you know, I know I know that was my my weakness before. Everybody know that. Uh, so you know what? I'm not a fool. You know, I went for the last 18 months. I wrestled four times a week with the national team. I have a new wrestling coach. He went to the last Olympic Games too uh, in 2008 in China. So you know, I did my homework. You know, and. Uh, you know, I'm fighting a softball guy. The, the front leg is right there, so I never know. I'll, I'll try to mix it up, but I'm a striker. Man. I, I want to put a good show for the fan. I don't want to lay lay on him and uh, you know doing a you know a boring fight and just winning and control the clock. That's not what I'm doing. That's the, I don't want to do that. Patrick, you've been in the cage with Anderson Silva before. Do you have any thoughts as someone who has fought him on a Saturday night's main event? Uh, you know, fighting Anderson Silva is very complicated. You know, not just physically, but mentally. It's very, very complicated. But uh, you know, I think first fight when he fought Sonnen, he, had, he was a little bit surprised about the pace, sure. uh, about the aggressiveness of, of Sonnen. And uh, you know, he's looked pretty pissed now. That's not a good sign right now. <laughs> so uh, you know, I'm, I'm taking Silva by the end of the third round. But I'm, ju I'm just hoping that you know, there's so so expectation about this fight. I just hope it's gonna it's gonna be an awesome fight for the companion, for the fans. Now, do you look back uh, when you look back at your fight at Silva? Um, the fact that you you did well against him before you injured yourself is that kind of like a motivator to know that you can get back to the top, that sort of thing? Or what what do you remember from that fight? Uh, the injury. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> I remember that it's very complicated. Uh, it's very hard to to to, um, to hit him. But I remember that I show him that I wasn't scared of him. I, I I took the center of the octagon and I never said I was winning the fight. I never said I won any of the first two rounds. But the only thing I, I know it's I had fun and I felt great until the knee blew up. So I think that's the key, you know, because a lot of fighters fought in the sense well, they were already lose before. You know, you can't see in, in their face. And uh, you know, and I don't think you can beat uh, Anderson Silva by skills. He's too good. You have to beat him by a good game plan. Put a lot of pressure like Chelsea and did the first time, but it's gonna be hard for Chelsea this time. Patrick, what's it like, uh, you know, out of the UFC for your four fights, and then now you're back into this, looking around here. You know, uh, the biggest show of the year. What's that like? It's awesome, you know. I'll lie to you if I was expecting that to be back in the big show, the probably the biggest card of the year, and uh, you know, on the main card right away. Uh, you know, I didn't expect that at all. I'm very thankful about uh, about that. But UFC Joseph Adana White, they brought me back uh, on the fight like that because you know they fire me, but they know my style. They know I'm gonna bring it, especially against a guy with Kang Lee. And uh, you're talking about uh, going uh, when I fought in the last four fight on lower organization. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, I get back on the hurt <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's a it's a reality face you pretty pretty bad, and uh, you just you just realize that man UFC is the, is the real deal. You want to stay there for sure. And you mentioned that uh, Kung Lee is quite unorthodox in terms of his striking. What kind of different things did you have to do in your quick training camp to prepare for this? Uh, I brought some good softball kicker uh, in my camp. Uh, they, they, were, they were doing almost the same style of, of Kong Lee. So, uh, you know, I'm ready for his style. But you never know, you know, a fight is a fight. Even if you have a game plan, you have to adjust during the fight. But, you know, I have a pretty good idea what he's going to do. You know, for his last four fights, he didn't do anything new. That doesn't mean it's bad. It's really good about what he's doing. But he didn't do anything new in his last four fights. I'm expecting the same thing. So, but I have to be ready if you decide to do to do something that something else. Thanks. Now, if you look at the fight, his first fight with Scott Smith. You, you and Scott have a very similar style. Uh, at that time, he had a, a chin similar to yours. Yeah. Do you look at that and go, hey, you know what? I, I, you know, maybe I can weather the storm and say, you know, catch him in the third round. Like, is that something like a fight that you look at when, like when you're preparing? For no, I'm, 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 uh, I'm going there to finish the fight first round. I think, yeah, I think Scott Smith and I, we have. I don't think we have the same style because you know my footwork. It's I think it's ten times better than him, and I think that's going to be a difference. If you stay in front of Kongney, you don't move and you just eat, eat kick after after one, uh, you're going to be in trouble. You have to move a lot. Don't give him you know a static target, and uh, you're going to have success. You know if, when you when you watch those, those fights against Scott Smith, against even Vander Silva, it was flat foot. He was staying in front of him, and he was eating kick after kick. And so that's that's what I'm I, I'm not going to do. You know, I have to move a lot, good footwork, and uh, find a good angle and uh, going inside. This video has been brought to you by Boss Rutan's O2 Trainer. Get yours at o2trainer.com.